dear students so the procedure to perform deformation and stress analysis in a simply supported beam when it is subjected to udl as well as uvl using ansys apdl page is going to get discussed in this lecture video so here i am considering a simply supported beam which is made up of steel material of length 5 meter cross section 0.1 into 0.5 meter square which is subjected to udl as well as uvl so the left end of the beam is subjected to 800 newton per meter and the right end is subjected to 1600 newton per meter okay so how to solve this problem using ansys apdl the step by step procedure we are going to discuss So first we have to define the type of the problem. So structural problem, preprocessor element type, the type of structural problem. Here we are considering a beam problem. Go to material properties, material models, structural, linear, elastic, isotropic. So the material of the beam uh, considered as steel. So the Young's modulus value for the steel material is 2 ten power 11 newton per meter square. sections beam common sections so in ansys apdl page the breadth and thickness values of the beam should be fed as thickness and breadth value so in the given problem the breadth and thickness values are noted to be 0.1 and 0.5 so the breadth value should be fed as 0.5 and thickness value should be fed as 0.1 meter so next we can model the entire beam element using nodes and elements option to apply the uvl values we have to go with nodes and elements option instead of key points and lines option so here we can subdivide the entire element into say four number of elements okay so first element second element third element and fourth element so there will be five nodal points 1 2 3 4 and 5 five nodal points okay so the coordinate positions for the nodal points also can be written as 0 0 0 So five divided by four, one point two five. So one point two five comma zero comma zero. Third point two point five comma zero comma zero. Fourth point three point seven five comma zero comma zero. And the fifth point five comma zero comma zero. And to apply the uniformly varying load from the ith position to the jth position of each element, we can calculate here. so totally we have considered four elements to model the entire beam structure so for the whole 5 meter length the variation of the load is 1600 minus 800 from the left position that is 800 newton meter to 1600 newton meter at point b so there is the total variation between points a and b is 800 newton meter so for 5 meter length 800 meter variation is there so for the first element distribution that is for 1.25 meter if we calculate the variation then we will be arriving at the result as 200 newton per meter so the variation is 200 newton per meter from the first nodal point to the second nodal point already the first nodal point is loaded with 800 newton per meter so after considering the variation totally at nodal point to 800 plus 200 1000 newton per meter load will get acting okay similarly for the next element position that is from the zeroth position to the second nodal position that is 
for the distance of 2.5 meter. So if we calculate the variation of load value using the same procedure, then we will be arriving at again 200 Newton per meter load variation will be there. So for the element 2 at third nodal point, the variation will be 1000 plus 200, 1200 Newton per meter. Similarly, at the fourth nodal position, again considering one more 200 Newton per meter, 1400 Newton per meter variation will be there. Then at the rightmost extreme, 1400 plus 200, 1600 Newton per meter variation is there. Okay. So in active CS, nodal position 1 as 0, 0, 0, nodal position 2, 1.2500, 0. nodal position 3, 2.500, 0. nodal position 4, 3.7500, 0. nodal position 5, 5, 0, 0. Okay. So now we can create elements by joining the created nodal points auto number through nodes select nodal points 1 and 2 to create element 1 then select nodal points 2 and 3 to create element 2 select nodal points 3 and 4 to generate element 3 and select nodal points 4 and 5 to generate element 4 okay Since the entire beam element has been modeled using nodes and elements option, we cannot go to meshing option. Okay. Now, to define the boundary conditions as well as loading condition, go to solution, define loads, apply structural displacement on nodes. Okay. So, for providing hints to support, Arrest UX, UY, UZ, Rotation X and Rotation Y option. For, uh, by providing hints to support, the beam can get rotated about its Z axis. So the remaining all should be arrested. Okay. Then at the rightmost extreme, the beam is supported with the roller support. So while we are providing roller support to a structure, at that particular point, it can move along its x-axis. Okay. So the remaining times, that is UY, UZ, rotation X and rotation Y should only get arrested. Okay. So next to apply the uniformly varying load for the entire beam, go to pressure option. Okay. On beams. So first select the first element. So already we have calculated the load variation along the beam. So for the first element, the ith position that is the left nodal point of the first element as having 800 Newton per meter load. The jth position of the first element that is the right nodal point of the first nodal point first element is loaded with 1000 Newton per meter okay okay to define the to define the direction of the UVL put 2 as the load key and for the ith position of element 1 the value of UVL is 800 Newton per meter and for the jth position that is 1000 Newton per meter apply okay next for the second element already we have calculated this values for the second element the variation of load value for the ith position is 1000 Newton per meter and for the jth position of the second element is 1200 Newton per meter then for the third element for the ith position the value is 1200 and for the jth position the value is 1400 okay and for the fourth element 
the load value for the i position as 1400 newton per meter and for the j position that is 1600 newton per meter now we have modeled the entire problem so we can solve the problem for the current load setup to get the deformation and bending stress results so to read the results go to general post processor plot results contour plot nodal solution dof solution displacement vector sum so this is the stress plot sorry deformation plot okay so the maximum deformation experienced by the simply supported beam under uniformly varying load as 0.434 into 10 power minus 4 meter okay then to get the stress results go to element table define table define the sequence number for the bending stress smisc 32 for the ith position and smisc 37 for the jth position then to read the results go to plot results line element results smisc 32 smisc 37 so this is the bending stress induced plot okay so the maximum stress induced value as 8,6250 newton per meter square that is 0.806 megapascal okay 